Hello teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson on standard forms of an account. In our previous lesson, we have seen about recording the opening entry. Let me remind you some of the main points of our previous lesson. The journal is a book of original entry. It is the first book in which the records of a business are written. Parts of a journal entry are generally four. These are a debt, debit part, a credit part, and brief description of the source document. The source document for making an opening entry is the beginning balance sheet. Let's begin today's lesson with the meaning of accounts. An account is an accounting form that is used to sort and summarize the chains caused by business operations. An account may be defined as a record of the increases, decreases, and balances in an individual item of asset, liability, capital, income or revenue, or expense. A group of all accounts is called a ledger. Students, let's discuss the standard forms of an account. The simplest form of the account is known as the T account because it resembles the letter T. The account has three parts. The name of the account and the account number debit side or left side and the credit side or right side. The increases are entered on one side and the decreases on the other. The balance or the excess of the total of one side over the total of the other is inserted near the last figure on the side with the larger amount. When an amount is entered on the left side of an account, it is a debit and the account is said to be debited. When an amount is entered on the right side, it is a credit and the account is said to be credited. The abbreviations for debit and credit are DR and CR respectively. Now I want you to do the following exercise individually. You have two minutes. Explain what an account is and how it helps in the recording process.
Students, did you answer the question? Good. Let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare it with your responses. An account is an accounting record of increases and decreases in a specific asset, liability, or owner's equity item. It helps to make clear the effects of transactions on individual accounts. We will use it often throughout this book to explain basic accounting relationships. Students, there are several forms of account. One of the standard forms of account is a two-column account. The standard form of account is divided into a left half and a right half. Each half of an account is ruled alike. The left-hand side of an account is called debit side. The right-hand side of an account is called the credit side. The amount column on the left-hand side has the heading debt. The amount column on the right-hand side has the heading credit. The headings of all the other columns are the same on each side of an account. Students, the other standard forms of account are four column accounts. The account name and number must be written on the top of a ledger form. Once an account is opened, entries need to be made into it so that the balance for that specific account can be found at any time. This accounting form is used to sort and summarize the chains caused by business operations. The four-column account has advantages over the two-column account form. Students, can you try to list down some of these advantages before the forthcoming discussion? The advantages of the four-column account over the two-column account are the following. The four-column account provides an easy means of analyzing and examining the accounts, presents a transaction in their chronological order of occurrence as the journal does, enhancing easy location, uses only one date column, saving space and time required for analysis, makes balance of account always available after each transaction is transferred to the account. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the student sitting next to you. List the different standard forms of accounts.
Did you answer the question? Good. Let's now do the activity together. The standard forms of account are two column accounts and four column accounts. In a two column account, the standard form of account is divided into a left half and a right half. In a four column account, the standard form of account is divided into two debit column and two credit column. Students, it is desirable to establish a systematic method of identifying and locating each account in the ledger. This can be done by using chart of account. The chart of accounts shows each accounts and account numbers arranged in sequence in which they are presented in the financial statements. The chart of accounts is the code of accounts and a listing of the accounts by title and numerical designation. Since the accounts are arranged in the ledger in numerical order, they can be located quickly. Students, let me clarify the concept using the accounts of Haragoin Aboyes Beauty Salon as an example. The first digit of each account number tells in which division of the ledger the account is placed. In the partial chart of account given here, all asset account numbers begin with 1, all liability account numbers begin with 2, the capital account numbers begin with 3. The second digit of each account number tells the position of the account within its division of the ledger. For example, the account number for operating supplies is 12. This number shows that the operating supplies account is in the first division of the ledger, the asset division, and that it is the second account of that division. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the student sitting next to you. You have two minutes. What is chart of accounts and why is it important in accounting system?
students. Did you answer the question? Good. Let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare it with your responses. The chart of accounts is the backbone of your accounting system. It is the complete list of all the accounts you need to categorize your business activities. Since the accounts are arranged in the ledger in numerical order, they can be located quickly and creates uniformity in recording. Let me wind up today's discussion by summarizing the main points. Today, we have learned about some important standard forms of an account. Basically, we have discussed the meaning of account, parts of accounts, and forms of account. In summary, the following have been discussed. An account is an accounting form that is used to sort and summarize the chains caused by business operations. A group of all accounts is called a ledger. There are several forms of account. Some of these are the standard forms of account, a two-column account, and four-column account. The chart of accounts is the code of accounts and a listing of the accounts by title and numerical designation. Students, in our next lesson, we will discuss posting the opening entry to the ledger. This brings us to the end of our lesson today. See you next time in another program. Until then, goodbye teacher, goodbye students. Thank you.